goats back in my garage. There's been an update. They added a car, and I'm done being mad at the game for trying to kill me. So uh, we're back at it. And like I said, there's a new car. It looks like an old Mercedes, possibly. Um, I think they call it the Wolf or something like that. But we're we're going to go see if we can get one. I might sell one of my cars to do it. I haven't decided yet. But I'd rather not. <laughs> so I want to go see how much they cost, uh, if they're even around. But right now we're we're cleaning up. Because I'd be willing to give up the El Camino. Um, or the pickup truck, because it made me angry. <laughs> so... <laughs> But the pickup truck's got damage now. Um, as I, I noticed before, I do love the color of this, though. It's, it's, oh, no, it's fixed. What happened? This was all pushed in last time. Well, you know what? I'm not going to argue with the good fortune. All right. Maybe the, maybe the gods are smiling upon me today. <laughs> but, yes, it's the game's fault. It has nothing to do with me, um, as per always. Okay, you can go in the garbage. You're empty. Uh, you've got stuff in here. I can go here. I'm just trying to clean this up because everything's on the floor. Everything's laying around, it's just, which is pretty normal for me, you know. But I'd like to get this new car, I think. Um, uh, we got half grinding discs everywhere now. It's kind of a pain. But we'll get rid of them, and then we'll go check the uh, the auction place or whatever they call it. So i got to pick up the screwdriver. Uh, it's going to go back here, and then... Oh, this is a paint pen. I forgot about this. This can go in here. All right. And then this pry bar, little miniature pry bar. Okay. Uh, okay, let me see. Um, what is that place? Oh, yeah. This, they changed all this. I forgot. All right. So we're going to go over here. Hang on. Come on, baby. I got to see what the kind of price of these cars are. Unless I want to get a shell and build it up from nearly nothing. Does this not open anymore? Or is, is that the only car in there? Oh, yeah, here we go. Okay, so damaged, rusty. Yeah, nothing nothing good here. Um, We can go check the junkyard, I guess, and see see if something shows up there. But I'm, I want to double check to see if, to make sure I have my game updated. Because, yeah, I got to see. We got to see if it's in the parts catalog. Let me see. All right, let's see here. Uh, all cars, we got the wolf. There it is. Now, if I remember correctly, I think this may be a diesel. Oh, engines. Um, yeah, an inline six diesel. There it is. Ooh, look at that. This could be fun. I do like a good inline six diesel, you know, it's just kind of the way it is. Okay. Let's head over to the Junkyard day. Now this has a, a severe loading time sometimes. So get ready for it. Cause I have it set to like 14 cars to show up and it takes a long time to load. So let's just, uh, just bear with me here and we'll see how are you guys doing? What's going on? <laughs> I had my best month on YouTube ever. Can you believe that? I actually got asked to do a uh, sponsorship for an electric bike company, which I think is kind of neat. I'm not sure I feel about integrated sponsorships yet, so I'm going to think about it. It's not that I'm not willing to do it, but, you know, I don't know. Am I that kind of guy? Who knows? Okay, let's see. But you got to pay the bill somehow, right? Well, that's why I have a job. <laughs> Ooh. I think too many people rely on stuff like this for their full-time Employment. What? What? Why are we going super slow mo here? Oh no! Is it, oh, wait a minute. I think it worked. Oh no! It's getting there. Okay. I think we. I think we. We've achieved. Yes, it's loaded. Okay. That. That's got to be it, right? That's it for sure. Hundred percent. Oh, it's totally crushed. Let me guess, and you still want like ten grand for it, right? Fifteen hundred bucks, that's not bad. <laughs> for for a shell. It would be cool to build one of these up from nothing, actually. This one isn't That might actually be kind of sell more salvageable than the other one, because the other one has a crushed roof. How much do you want for this? Fourteen hundred. Oh, you know, we could earn that pretty quick if we run back. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so let's go back to 
the garage, and then we'll make 1400 bucks and bring that back. Of course, we're going to have to move our vehicles around or they're going to get crushed, but let's see. Something's wrong with the handling, rust repair. Oh, God, here we go. Something's wrong with the shifting. We're, oh, we can take this job. How much money do we got? Oh, did it work? 1500 bucks right there. We could buy it straight up. One job. Oh, look, it's one of the cars. Ooh, this one might be an up on the, the hoist job just because it would be easier to, because I've never been under this car before. I love it. I love these old Mercedes, man. Old diesel Mercedes are friggin' amazing. If you've ever had a chance to, like, own one or even drive one, they're pretty incredible, like, stupidly. So where, where's the... Oh, is, there, is there no parking brake on this? Oh, is this an automatic, maybe? No, the parking brake's definitely on. Window, window, window front right, front right, okay. What's this? Hazard lights. Where's the... Where's the damn parking brake? Is it a foot brake? Let me see. Wait a minute. That might be it. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Okay. Excellent. And... Bloop. And perfect. All right. On you go. Off you get, open the door. It's nice to have a four door in the game. Beyond the lotto, you know? Okay, let me see here. Out you go. Hopefully we can get, oh, this might be a little far forward, but we'll, we'll see. Forward. Okay, here we go. Name the movie. Mm. It's Short Circuit. It's a great movie. Watch Short Circuit. If you're into 80s movies and you haven't seen it, go watch that. It's right up there at the Goonies. I love you, chunk. Okay. The Goonies is amazing. I could watch the Goonies every day. I have a t-shirt that says the Goonies. Okay, let me see. Okay, up you come, buddy. Please don't fall forward off the lift. Oh, good. It stayed on. Sweet. Sweet. Okay, up we go. Let's see. What do we got? Ah, oh, just a basic tranny job. Okay, let's do that. That'll net us 1500 But Well, we got to buy the transmission too, though, right? So, there is that. Uh, let me see here. We're going to loosen. Loosen. Here we go. Loosey goosey. There we go. Out you come. I feel like there should be one more up there, but... Apparently not. I'm assuming I'm going to take the starter out, right? And... Oh, probably the... Starter wire, I'd assume? I figured there would be a like a bolt right here or right up there, but I don't. I don't see one. All right, let's let's lower it down and get under the. Okay, that's fine. We got to get the. Uh, oh, what do you call that thing? The wire off there, I think, before it's gonna pop out. Ooh, the starter wire. Okay. Okay, let's get down here. All right, let's see. Um, geez, that is a tight squeeze, man. Out you come. All right, there you go. Starter's out. That's still not coming out, though. I must be missing a bolt. Or maybe something's attached to it. Oh, wait a minute. There's an upper one there I missed. And out you come. There we go. Transmission's out. Okay, what are you? You're a four-speed gearbox. Sweet. Okay, let's go see. Let's go get the cheap one. We'll save a few bucks. Over here. I should just take the car, but it's just a nice little walk. You know, get out in the get out in the winter weather. Smell that? It's a smell of victory. Mm, winter. Okay. I like winter when it's so cold your nose hairs freeze. That's a good time. All right, let's see. What do we got? I need to buy a transmission. You open? What are you? Louis Store. Nice. Okay. What do we got here? Okay, we need a transmission of sorts, a four-speed. 
Five speed auto, four speed auto. I'm assuming it's the, obviously the four speed auto. Oh, wait a minute. Is it? Oh God, please. No. Oh yeah, that's fine. We're good. Okay. Nice. I thought about the, uh, I guess all the transmissions are the same. <laughs> Woo. Okay. We got $240 to our name. So we'll have just enough money when this is done to buy that car. Although we won't be able to do much with it. And we're going to have to move our other vehicles out of the way. But we can start stripping her down, which is always a good time. All right. So, I mean, it'll, this is a lovely car, though. I do love these old Mercedes. The old 300 SLs, too. I'm a big fan. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Also, like old Jags, like XJ6s and stuff. You got to love a good European piece of trash, man. All right. I'm very brand agnostic. Everybody thinks I'm a Ford guy. I, I've like I've said about Fords before, and I'll say it again. I like the way Ford is always like, hey, let's build a performance version of this. This is stupid. All right, let's do it anyway. Like the Taurus show is a good example of that. But the uh, I just like that mentality. But, you know, they don't make the best products in the world, for sure. I've, I've never once pretended that's true. They make some really good ones, but they don't. Uh, but so does, you know, all the other car companies. So I'm not. Every car company's had their moment in the sun, right? like you know there's volkswagen fans everybody knows volkswagens had the worst reputation for electronics for a long time okay let's uh job info uh we're complete let's get out of here nice okay so that's enough to buy that one car and i think we're going to because i was gonna go by wait for a better condition one to show up but really realistically it'd be nice to tear one down from the the, the top so we can like check it out Okay, there we go. So let's go to the um, to the junkyard. Nice. Okay, we're here. Hello here. I bought this like, God, ten, twenty episodes ago, thirty episodes ago at least, and I've never been, never brought it home. I really should. I could just sell it for parts. What are you? Oh, look at all this wonderful crap. We should really come here and scour for parts on the regular. Okay, are you? Oh, please tell me it's not all different. Was this the one I was looking at? Yeah. This has got some obvious damage, but... Oh, there's another one. What's this green one like? Uh, that's not... I don't know. What, what do, we, do, we, do we like the green? Oh, this is way out of our price range. So we're going to go with, with this one, I think. It's this one or that one, but that whole back end's crushed. This one, at least the roof line's all right on it. Let's see. What do you want? Fourteen hundred. Oh, wait a minute. I gotta go home. I I think these cars are in the way. So I just want to move them before I bring a car in and, and smash this up even worse than I did the last. Oh, look, look! Look! I can get in it. Is that amazing? Yeah. It's not on a three percent grade. That's why. Okay. You know what I'm gonna do? I think. I think what I should do is park these inside the uh, inside the the back garage there okay i think the other car is out of the way enough that it shouldn't matter i can hear my dog chewing on a pop bottle or something having a real good time all right let's go to the garage let's go to the, the junkyard all right we're spending 10 bucks every time we do this so all right so like i said i'm not sure i want to do a whole roof repair on this I feel like this one is going to be the easier. Actually, this one over here would probably be the easier out of all of them, but I can afford this one. So let's buy this. Yoink. Boink. Yoink and boink. All right. So now it's going to cost me $100 to tow it home, which seems right. And then does it only have one wheel on it? It does. Okay. And um, tow to garage. All right. Now we're going to take a taxi to the garage. Perfect. There we go. Yeah, see, I think that would have crushed my truck <laughs> if I would have left it there. All right, so. Ooh, it's missing its gas flap. Let's uh, let's wash it up and see, uh, see what's going on here. Let's see. What is it worth right now? 1433. Got it. Oh, it's a black one. Is that black? It's very close to black if it isn't black. There we go. 
Everybody likes a nice little old Mercedes. Ugh. Some newer Mercedes are mint. There we go. What is that? Okay. I feel like every time they update the game, the rust patterns change. Excellent. I think there's some rust on the inside of there. We'll get that. Because sometimes you can make money just by uh, washing them. <laughs> like if you wash them and you can sometimes make like like a like hundred bucks off the car. Sometimes more. I've done it before. Just sell it, de-rust it, or buy it, de-rust it, and wash it, and you can make a couple hundred bucks off the car. It's really easy. It's not hard. There we go. And that's clean, and this is cleanish. Yeah, I'm not going to get it perfect on the first pass. All right. I think that's as uh, clean as we need it to be right now. We'll get some on the window over here. Still some schmutz. Got some schmutz on the window. All right. A little bit right there. Not bad, not bad. Okay, it's, it's cleaning up. It's cleaning up. So now what are you worth? Ah, look at that. Made like 20 bucks. Okay, um, I guess, do we want to try to get it up on the lift? Is that, is that what we're doing here? Because we can kind of move it around. Now, someone said I should go steal the lift from elsewhere and bring it here so I have two lifts, which is probably a good idea. But I do like the idea of having a bay that's empty as well that I can just, like, throw cars in. Ooh, don't tip it over, bud. All right, here we go. Hmm. All right, shout out uh, to German Engineering, I guess. Let's go. Uh, I'm just going to bring it in, not all the way in, but not right to the lift, but just into the shop here so I can start tearing it down. Okay, let's, uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pound out as many dents as I can because then when I sell off these parts, they'll be worth more. Jeez, I can't believe how well this is actually pounding out. How is this pounding out this well? Oh, this is... This is turning out very well. Still doesn't line up, but, you know... What'd you think was going to happen? Like, they're not... They, I like how you can get it, but you can't get it perfect. So, like, it is realistic in the sense of that type of stuff. It looks like I can get up under here and smash some things in. I feel like this cross member is going to have to come out, obviously. It looks like the engine might be there. I think that's where I'll start. Pull the engine out. Once I pull out some of these dents. This is oh, lovely. Does that door got dense? Oh, the door's got dense, doesn't it? I'm not sure to tell if this is doing anything, but I just do it until it doesn't make any hammer noises anymore. <laughs> That's always been my thing. It's like I click really fast. And then eventually all the hammer noises go away. Okay, what, 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 oh, geez, this is unfixable. But that's okay. We just basically, we're going to replace the whole rear end of this car, I think. And possibly the roof. <laughs> From the looks of things, I thought I could get away with not replacing the roof, but looking at this bend here, yeah, we're going to have to replace the roof. I wonder if it get, does it, does it get any better? Okay, so now that we got some of the dents out, what does it does the price go up at all or is it look at that, made 200 bucks already. All right, so the windshields are shot, so let's pull those out. And yoink and yoink. Okay, the rear windscreen is out. 
Okay, let's uh, junk these right away because uh, it's not like I'm going to forget to put a window in it. I forget a lot of things. Putting in a window isn't one of them. All right. I think we should probably take the deck lid off. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, it's bad. <laughs> it's really bad here. Off you come. All right, you can might as well just trash you right off the shot. Okay. Uh, yeah, like this hole, look at this. It's like twisted bad. It is definitely twisted metal here. Now, I might be able to bondo some of the, the, the rough stuff up front into shape, like the hood. But I don't think... Like, some of this is, like, this grill is, is, it's gone. Like, there's no fixing that. Looks like I missed something here. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what, what, what I'm hitting. It's got to be an inner panel of some sort, because I can't see any changes. Okay. That did something. Yeah, I think it's this inner panel I'm bashing on. It's gotta be, right? Engine's kind of there. <laughs> at least the block looks all right. Okay, well, you know, one step at a time. I feel like by the end of this, I'm going to end up replacing most of this car, but that's not the point. Okay, so this, this is, I didn't realize this is all one piece. So this, this hood is, is shot too, so we'll get rid of that. Now where do you, oh, here you go. And this can come off. Off you come, and into the trash you go. Now, this looks bent in, maybe. Yeah, I think that's bent in. I think this, uh, I don't think there's going to be much of this car left by the time I'm done with it, to be quite honest. But we'll give it our best. Um, is that a, oh no, that's just a stop for the, uh, for the hood coming down. That's the horn. Yeah, I think we can make a go of this. Like I said, it's going to cost us a ton, but I think uh, we might be able to work it out. I'm wondering if you can bondo the worst of this back here. As stupid as that sounds. No, we're not going to bondo that. But we might be able to bondo this. Yeah, see, that's completely bondoable. Boy, this thing really went south, eh? I, yikes, it's not great. It is not great. Ugh. Yeah, we're going to have to, like, literally replace everything on this car. Damn it. <laughs> thought it was such a good deal. Well, like, then again, we can just fix it up somewhat and then sell it and try to get a better shape one. Like, it's already worth 18 You know what? Let's try that. Let's get rid of some of the rust. And then we'll paint over it in the original color. And see if we can't just make a few extra bucks on it and then buy buy a better one there we go jeez i really i really messed up the uh the cleaning down here eh There we go. Come on. Gotta hate that stuff. The only thing about the game that really annoys me, honestly, is the uh, is the paint is is these rockers. Doing the rust on the rockers is awful. And I hate it so much. Okay, let me see. 
Because if I could score 2800 bucks of this, I could get the one that's in even better shape. Now, what color was this to start? I'm curious. Curious. Look at that. It's already up to 3100 It's still got rust on it, too. So, the original color is 181511. 181511. Let's see. Uh, let's see. 181511. Five one one. Sure. All right. Just like I said, there's still rust on the rockers over on this side, but fighting with rockers at this stage is just not worth it. There we go. Paint that up. Okay. There. Oh, no, that's just the lighting. Put this on it here. After we bond out a little bit. Oh, yeah, I know we got this door, too. Why not? <laughs> hey, for the low, low price of three grand, you can have this piece of junk. Excellent. Okay, now this door has got... Oh, jeez, and crackers. Look at the rust. We might as well, like I said, we might as well clean up some of the rust and get a few bucks for this. Cleaning up the rust is a great way. Like I said, if you want to make a few bucks here and there... It is a great way to do it. <sighs> come on, come on. But rust on the rockers is always a bear. So if you don't like fighting with it, don't uh, don't get a don't get a car with rusty rockers. You know, it's kind of true to real life because doing rocker panel work sucks. Anybody's ever done it knows exactly what I'm talking about. Like, it's definitely not the worst of the body work to have to do, but it's it's up there. Mm. It's in an awkward place. Uh, there we go. Got to paint this up here. Uh, yeah, I need my, I need my hose. Can I, will my hose stretch as far as it is it limited? I feel like if I owned a shop like this, I would have a really long hose. Yeah, we still got purple on that. We still got some dirt here. All right, let's see here. Okay. Now, when you're painting over wet, <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, let's see. Could be worse. All right. It's not looking terrible. It's also worth 4200 bucks, so we're selling it. Yoink. Okay. So we're going to go back to the uh, junkyard and look at that green one now because that was 28 Sweet. See? Making bucks. Making the big bucks. So we get some other cars and get some money ahead maybe. Just like I said by doing rust and uh, like some minor rust repairs and stuff. Oh, I do love you though. Look at you. Really, you're just front end work. Everything else looks... Straight-ish. Not perfect, but it could fetch us a hefty amount of money. Thank you. So, oh, look at this old truck here. Love it. Okay. My goal is to eventually have one of every car, so I don't want to keep selling cars off, but if I can de-rust, make a few bucks here and there to, to further along our our endeavors even better, right? Tow to garage and taxi to garage. All right, let's see. Where are we? Perfect. I wonder why it leaves them here. Looks like the suspension's busted, but we got three of the four wheels, so that's not terrible. Now, how much are you worth at this very second? Yeah, 28, same with what we paid for it. So. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's get the water hose, which is over here. Clean her up. Because, again, if we can make a 1000 bucks just by de-rusting and maybe doing a bit of body work, why wouldn't we? That's the key. If we want to make big money to do a project like this, this is how we're going to have to fund it. I'm sick and tired of doing all the little work jobs. You know, like, oh, change the transmission and do this. It's not that they don't pay. Like, they pay fairly well, but... This was a is a more fun way to make money, in my opinion. Now, you guys do what you want to do, but this is my YouTube channel, so piss off. No, 
kidding. Okay, sorry to the children out there. I do have a... T- like, so my, my, my videos are always rated for adults, you know, so if you're letting your children watch this, I do use colorful language sometimes. Not often, but every once in a while I do uh, drop an F-bomb or something. I'm just that kind of guy. Sorry about that. I try not to be, but, you know, I uh, I apologize if I ever offend anybody with it. And no, I don't, you know, the people that's come to my defense is, oh, I should be able to say whatever you want. But yeah, probably, but at the same time, people are right to be offended, and I don't want to offend anybody. If I can avoid it. Hmm. I never liked people who thought offending people was funny. I, I have no use for that. Okay, let's see. Let's let's uh, let's bang around on it a bit. See what we can hammer out of this. Nice. <laughs> One dent right there. I doubt we're gonna be able to pound this hood out at all. I knew this panel was a bit dinged up. Yeah, it's got a bit of rear end damage, but nothing super serious. I'm being serial right now. Okay. I think that's about most of the... Oh, oh, wait a minute. I think sometimes when you bang out one part, a new part is then now bangable. Wait a minute. Sounds like a date. But you know what I mean? So when you manage to bang something out, it shows that now you can do it to a different part of it. So let's see here. Where did I put my grinder? There it is. Like I said, making money. Uh, this is this is this is the way. All right. Oh. Why can't I do this here? Oh, okay. It just wouldn't let me use it there. All right. We'll get back to it. There we go. There's some of that rust. I love it when you're doing it, though, and it disappears suddenly. And you're like, yes, I got all the rust. Like that. That's my favorite right there. Okay. 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 Why can't I get this one? This one won't even let me click on it. Hey, you know what? Let's not worry about it. Let's just go after the other rusts. Ooh, this one gets rust behind the lights. I hate that. Because you always miss it, you know? Like you're looking around for it and you can't find it. Then you remember, oh yeah, compare behind the lights very rarely, but it does. And then you're pulling off your lights looking for it. Okay, so we're not getting all that rust off either. Jeez, this is a problem today, isn't it? Wait a minute, is it underneath that? Oh, it is. Look at that. Oh, there we go. That got rid of that. Oh, perfect. So again, I'm not sure why it won't let me do it to this one. Maybe because it's so damaged, it just won't let me. But it could uh, could be worse, I guess. What are you worth now, bud? Ugh, Thirty-nine. What do we pay for? Twenty-eight. So we're already, we're already a thousand bucks up on this. And if we paint it, we'll get a little more out of it. So. 1D7962. 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 I gotta remember. Let's see. 1D7962. Uh, right? Ooh, that looks close. Hmm. I don't like doing this. Get the wrong colored paint and you feel like an idiot. All right, there we go. There's one little bit there. Paint over that and this. There we go. Okay, it's getting better. Paint over some of that rust. 
Paint on this door here. There we go. This little bit. Did that raise it up any? You raise me up. Okay. You know what we could do to just score a bit extra? Happiness with the, the people here? Okay, so they're all there. Let's try removing. Mm -hmm. There it is. This panel. Did that get me? Oh, yeah, here we go. I'm curious. Can I do it on the ground? No, just see, it just won't even let me. But let's get a new quarter panel, a left, front left quarter panel for the wolf. Just toss it on there, paint it. Buddy, let's see, I'm just curious. What is it worth? A couple hundred bucks? Front left. Oh, yeah, 179 Not bad. Hmm. Let's see if we can make a few extra dollars out of this. Oh yeah, she's uh she's pretty dinged up, but on the plus side, it's not gonna matter. All right, because we got a brand new panel. This whole section is shot. I'm starting to think I want to just keep this and rebuild it, but no engine and whatnot. So we'll probably just sell it off. Where did I put my oh there's my wrench there it is. Tighten that down. We'll paint it up. Even though it's really attaching to absolutely nothing for some reason. <laughs> okay, we gotta paint it now. All right. Hmm. There we go. I kind of like this green actually. It's very nice. Okay, look at this. Now what's it worth? Yeah, look at that. That was eight hundred. Put two hundred dollars in. Got eight hundred dollars out. That's not bad. Maybe we should do the hood too while we're here, because this hood is really shot. Oh, with this uh, loosening. There we go. Out you come. There we go. Because we can sell all these parts off too, right? So it doesn't really matter. What's a hood worth? Uh, let's see. Well, we're, now we're going to get the, the front little uh, grill back, but that's all right. Let me see here. <laughs> okay it's already looking better although i will agree that uh, it doesn't line up quite at the front like it should but that's fine we'll paint this because we can hoping not to run out of paint which i'm about to some percentage on the can would be nice so you know where you're at but I understand why they don't, because you don't really know in real life either. You just kind of shake it, and you can kind of feel how much is in it sometimes. Oh, that'd be cool. A button where you shake, and it shows you the percentage real quick. Oh, I got... How do I get less money? Hmm. That was not a worthy upgrade. It's probably because this piece is not there. Ah, let's go buy it and shove it on there. I know, like I said, I'm going to lose money on this now. Losing a bit of money. 425 bucks for that. Jeez. Was that 52, right? Ugh. So we better get at least 400 extra dollars for this. Oh, is that, is that a screwdriver? Looks like it. All right. Screwdriver it is. And... Nope. Excellent. So was that 52? What do we got now? 53. Look, it's actually gone down in value. And I'm not... Oh, look at that. Probably because the underneath side isn't painted. Where's my paint? Paint? Where? There it is. Okay. Oh, maybe I did paint it. Never mind. I lied. Oh, there, it ran out there. Crap, I better get another one. For 20 bucks, it's just good insurance. 
But we still almost doubled its value, so that's not the worst. All right, let's see here. Should probably sleep until morning. What do we got now? 53.65. So it really didn't really add any value to it, but that's all right. We did add some total value over top of it. And uh, I think it's uh, it's 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 pretty good for what it is. I think that getting fifty three hundred dollars for this piece of trash. Let's pump up the tire. I'm not sure that matters for sale value, but we'll get that tire pumped up. Perfect. This is this whole look at that so bent, eh? Like look at where the light is. All right, cool. So, did that actually, I'm just curious, does that add any value to it? No, but we're going to sell it, and we're going to go to sleep. We're going to, oh, after we get rid of this. At least we can sell some of this crap off for some extra coinage. Here's my transmission I replaced earlier. There you go. So, it's six grand now. Let's go to sleep. We'll get up in the morning, and we'll head into, uh, what, what is it now? Shoot. There we go. Perfect. All right. So far, so good. Oh, yeah, we get rid of this, too. We don't need this. Get out of here, this. What are you doing here, bud? All right, so I think we should go back to the back to the junkyard. So, let's see, uh, junkyard. Are you going to give me a whole new batch of cars today? Ooh. Yep, I think we're getting a whole new batch. If we could get one in about the $5,000 range, that would be lovely. But if we can find something that's just kind of rusty and then we can repair that, that'd be great. Rust is your friend in this game when it comes to making money. Any minute now. So how you doing? It's 30 degrees Celsius here today. It's quite warm for this time of year. Oh, now we, we get much warmer days in the middle of summer, but it's pretty just spring right now. You think, oh, okay, yep, there we go. You think it would be a little better off. Oh, look at this. Look at this. See, the body on this is not friggin' absolutely destroyed. It's got an engine, but it's crap. It's got some damage to the hood, but it's definitely not. The, let's see what else. What other options do we have? There's this one missing a bunch of body panels, but the body, other than right back here, is oh yeah, we're shot. Never mind. Engine? Probably. Yep, it's got an engine. I think we'll go with... Uh, I got another one here, too. It's definitely got some damage, but I think we could probably fix this up. Tell them about $1,500 bucks for it. That's not terrible. I gotta buy it. And buy this. This may be our keeper. I haven't decided yet. Oh, wait a minute. So this episode's running out of time. So you got to ask yourself the question then, ladies and gentlemen who are watching. Do we tow to garage? Well, obviously we tow to garage. And then we go to the garage by taxi. Do we uh, fix this up and sell it for more money and keep going until we... Because this has got a lot of rust, I noticed, which means this value of this car is really low. And could very easily be increased. Like very, very easily increased. Or do we keep it and work on it as our own project? Because what I did notice is there's only a little bit of rocker panel rust, which is my nemesis. So yeah, I'll ask you guys a question. Do we want to keep the purple Mercedes or do we want to uh, turn it into something else? So leave your comments below, and I will read them as I do all the comments. Believe it or not, I read every single comment I see. I just don't have time to respond to all of them. So I do apologize for the people that feel like they've never been responded to. I'm doing my best. I promise you I read every comment. I can comment on nearly every comment uh, if you ask me about it. Ugh. I feel like when people leave comments, it's because they want to be heard. And just don't leave stupid comments. That's all I'm asking, you know? Uh... Like, like like I said about the one guy the other day, if you got a problem with what I'm doing, please state why and be polite about it. There's no need to be a dick. 
And everybody thinks like, well, you know, it's the truth. Well, yeah, but don't, you can present the truth without being a jerk. You know what I mean? <laughs> like that's that's one of these things I've learned. Working in the job I do, it's definitely a uh, a thing that you got to learn to do. So I think the hood is kind of shot, but otherwise, yeah, there's some front end damage, but could be way worse. Like, look at this. This isn't horrific. We could just have a beater Mercedes that we could go driving around in. But I think this would be a good sellable one. And then we'll pick up one from over here. But yeah, my, my suggestion would be clean up the rust, sell it off for a bunch of money, see what we get for it. Maybe do some, like, Bondo work on it, because Bondo's cheap. And um, move on from there. Because this is pounding out very nicely. And this would sell for a ton if we got the rust off of it. So... Yes, please leave your comments below. So thank you. I'll leave now. So much for watching. If you like this, please leave a comment. Maybe subscribe. Maybe get your friends to subscribe. Maybe get your dog to subscribe. Maybe get your donkeys to subscribe. And if you didn't like this, well, you should probably find yourself a real YouTuber because I'm not much of one. Thank you again so much for watching. Love every view I get. Scapegoat. I love that you guys watch. It makes me happy. Out. Out.